Hey everyone, this is Jessica Eblen, and I am in a century home that's in the process of being built. And I'm kind of going through some things. Um, as you see, they actually have tech shield that helps with uh, reflecting the uh, sun out of the attic so it doesn't get so hot. So it really helps with your insulation costs. Um, this particular home too, and I want to show this to people because this is something that kind of comes up all the time on inspection reports in regards to duct work touch touching. Um, okay, I am not an inspector, but this comes up a lot. But it depends on the amount of attic space in an attic. Sometimes you just really can't get around that, okay? And a lot of times they say, well, then they touch, they can um, sweat and uh, cause a... Uh, they can sweat and cause moisture. But if you look, so they want you to put stuff like around it, like a... Hey, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Good. Who are you? I'm Ronnie, I'm the builder. Hi, I'm Jessica Evelyn. Jessica, I'm the nice real estate you. agent. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I guess I'll pause this. <laughs> okay, I'm back with the builder and his name is... Ronnie. Ronnie, so Ronnie caught me going through his house and you heard me say inspection. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. Now, what you want Surprise. in here? What, what you, you doing in here? What you doing here? What you doing here? here? So, what we were just talking about are duck work. Um, um, but another thing I noticed about yeah. the house, and he could probably explain, a lot of homes have the, the uh, pexi ply, the um, water the pex, pex system. Uh -huh. I've heard good it's things. Just, it's just a different, this is just a different color. Oh, you do have Texas? Well, it's a, it's the same. Oh. It's like the same. It's like the same line. I mean. Oh, but instead of it being red and white, red, it's, it's just a. Red, okay, blue, you see that? It's just a. Different you see color. that? Yeah, Maybe a different material. Let's see. I've, yeah, this that's a little different. Yeah. I'll ask my plumber, but it, I know there's a there's different brand. There's different brands of it too. But I think Pex is just a name brand. Uh, but I mean. Do y'all have the Honeywell Three. system where you just change out that one filter right the there? The filter, yes, yeah. ma'am. So that, depending upon if you got animals, I mean, it's good for a year. But if you have animals, you want to do it like every six months. Okay. The pet dander and stuff like that. Okay. But meteor filters are awesome. But the only problem is people forget about it. Yeah. So it's like, uh, put a reminder on your calendar or on your phone or something to uh, change that. Because, I mean, I, I always check them every six months yeah. regardless. Yeah. And they're now cheaper. They used to be about 70 bucks. Now they're like $28. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, they came down a lot. They used to be like $120 for me to change two of them in my house. I'm like, good Lord. So. But, well, let me finish off what I was talking okay. about. The duck work Sorry. touching. And you can interject, too. You know, sometimes you can't really get around that. What you can do is add an insulation. Just, just insulate in between it. But at the same so time, if you look at the piping, it has insulation around it anyway. So those two actually touching and forming a sweat is like very, the probability of that happening seems very. You're gonna sweat more on the condensating line. Then you it's would. insulated, your copper line is gonna condensate more than anything. That's why yeah. it's insulated. Right. The copper line in there, so. Well, that was just one thing I was such, okay. And also they have the tech shield. A lot of builders do not have that. Uh, I think that you guys do a good job in putting in. You got tech shield, vinyl windows. What know, about um, insulation around the windows? I know we, some people do the spray. We, or... we don't do that until, we'll do it tomorrow. So tomorrow we uh, will poly, which is the spray foam around there and then any uh, penetration to the top plate if, uh, around the windows, doors, top plate, uh, bottom plates down there and then we insulate and then we get the inspection on that. So we still have a we still do it. We do a blow door test here too at the end. So okay. Each house gets tested for the blow door. Okay. Uh, so he'll come and inspect it on Wednesday. Once the house is insulated and everything, he'll come check for like hot walls and any penetration. So there's some areas where I still have to tape where I see like little uh, air uh, light pockets coming through the T plot. So. Okay, I'm and then also I want to give people yep. like up here, their vents. They're supposed to be there, guys. Some people are like, well, why are there, why is there light coming in? It, it needs the the attic has to be able to vent. Um, that's some. Yeah. So people always ask that they'll see in the attic, they'll see the what the things that are called baffles. So those are the things that are lined going up. There'll be a plastic thing there. So problem is when you blow the insulation up the sheetrock, 
the, if you didn't have the baffles there, it wouldn't allow it to breathe. Yeah. Say. So it wouldn't ventilate. So all the insulation then would fill that soffit area and then wouldn't allow it to the vent up because, you know. So heat, what do you do heat, to make sure it doesn't. Rises, um... And you'll see the baffles. You'll see the little things that'll go in between here. And uh, on the vent itself, oh, here, yeah. that's where we see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the be black things. And allow, yeah, they'll be black or yeah. white or gray and allow, you know, the heat because heat rises. So then you got, you know, your ridge vents and air hops. Yeah, the ridge vent. Help, okay. To help uh, vent out. out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, wow, that ladder's still here. It's been here for three days. That's the mm. first. <laughs> yeah.